Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Rambam, Hilchais Yisay the Atayra, starting chapter four today, and it's a, a continuation of the last chapter of really the Rambam's understanding of the way in which the physical world works. And as we'll see in the end of this chapter, the Rambam will explain how this itself is the insight that we need to understand the godless, the tremendous, the greatness the awesomeness and the infinite ways of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he says like this in Ois Aleph number one, Arba Gufim Halo L'shem, Arba Gufim Halo, there are four major bodies in this world. Shehem Eish, Veruach, Umayim, Ve'eretz. And they are fire, Ruach, wind, Mayim, water, Ve'eretz, and the land. And these are the foundations of all of the creations down here underneath the sky. And anything that there is in this land, whether it be a man, an animal, a bird, a crawling creature, the dog, a fish, Vitzemach, or a plant, something growing, umateches, vavanim, metal and stone, vavanim toivais, and precious jewels, umargolius, and pearls, ushar avne, binyan, and any other kinds of stones that you use to build with, vaharim, and mountains, vagushi, ofar, lumps of earth, ha kol galman, mechubra, me'arba, yisun, halalu, all of these four things, all of these things, are a combination of the four entities that we said are the foundations of the creation. That means that everything that exists underneath the sky, all of them are a combination of these things, except for the four things themselves. They are individual. The goylem shehem, and therefore they are all. These, whatever you have that is in existence, that is a, that is a created thing, is going to be a combination of them. However, each one of these four things is only going to exist as its state of its, of, of its own, not that it has to be connected to anything else that is there. Now, in Beis, he writes the following words. And he says, The way of fire and wind is that it ascends, it goes up from the depths of the earth and it goes up towards the sky. And the way of the water and the land, they go from above, and they come down into the middle of the, of the earth. The middle of the, I guess we'll call it over here, the ems of the middle of the sky is hamata she'en lamata mimena. There's nothing lower than that. They need lucham le'bedaitam ve'lebechavsam. They don't run based on their own what they want. El aminak shenikbaben. That's the way that Hakadosh Baruch Hu set the world to be. Ve'teve shenikbaben, and it's the nature that Hakadosh Baruch Hu drilled in to the creation. So. Everything that you see, the way that these four foundations of creation are working is because the Rebbeinu Shalom decided that's how they're going to work. And now he begins to describe. Teva, Eish, the nature of fire, Cham, it's, it's hot. The Yovish, and it's dry. Vukal Mikulam, it's really the lightest of all the things. Varuach, and when Cham Velach, it's warm, but it's also Lach, it's also moist. Vamayim, and water, Karim, is cold. Velachim, it's also, it's wet, it's very moist. The Oritz and the land, Yevesha, it is dry. The Kara, and it is basically, says the, says the Rambam, it's cold. The Kveda Mikulam, but it's the heaviest of all of these four types of, of entities that are part of our creation of the existence. And it's the Kveda Mikulam, Amayim Kalim, the water is swifter than that. The Fikach Nimsayim Lamayla Ala Oritz, that's why you find that the water. Is above the above the land. You'll find water covering the land and the like. And wind is swifter than the water. That's why the wind flows over the water. But fire is swiftest of all. And, and, and therefore, you'll find fire in other places. Umibnei shehem 
you know, I think we can leave it over here. <clears throat> and Be'ez Hashem will pick this back up after Yom Kippur. Have an amazing, amazing Yom Kippur that is filled with tshuva and coming in contact with the creator of the universe who created such a beautiful system down here on planet Earth. But there's even a more amazing system in Shemaim in the heavens that HaKadosh Baruch allows a person who sinned the whole year to come and ask forgiveness. And Hashem says, I forgive you for everything that you've done. Have a wonderful day.